a crack now, sit your ass down. I got stuff I never had now. I can brag now. Yeah, my niggas they gon' spread. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JML Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get Let's Go, bringing you a highly requested video, bruh. Everybody been asking me for this. Yo, can you upload a mini scheme about your gun tight offset tight in out the freaking Rams playbook? This also can be found in the Saints playbook. So the Saints or the Rams, this can be found in. Uh, but I don't know if there's any other teams that can be this can be found in. But like this, I use the Rams playbook. So the plays be gonna be going over the spot corner. We're gonna be going over the infamous PA shot seams in the Rams Y out. The inside zone is self-explanatory, basically, you know what I'm saying? But you can y'all can mix these other plays in, like the spot shake, the O1 trap, like the drive out, like all those plays can mainly be ran, like you know what I'm saying? Y'all can mix those in. I'm just going over the main plays I use in the money, the main money plays out this formation. So the Rams Y out, we're gonna start out with that. We just gonna come on. Let's come out dying, bro. Let's come out dying. So we're gonna come out in the cover four. All you wanna do for this the Rams Y out is streak your tight end. That's all you wanna do for this play. And you can put your running back on a hitch. But if they're blitzing, you can block your running back. But I like to put my running back on a hitch. And all y'all gonna do, y'all gonna see uh boom. Y'all just see how that post gets wide open. It's a very tight window in cover four. So y'all do wanna be careful. But like I said, uh, that's why we got our drag and our hitch on the field because if they if they aren't uh, covering anything boom They go cover the post. We just dump it down to our running back easy game Easy game, but like I said, uh, this can towards every coverage. I'm gonna just oh y'all man let's, let's, let's Look at it cover four is it's a little tougher, but you can still fit it in there But uh, now we're gonna talk about what we're gonna talk about now Let's talk about the infamous cover three cover three boom. This really tortures cover three same thing, just streak your tight end, boom, you got him, boom, you can either rat catch it or you can just possession catch it. I always possession catch my catches, y'all know how we do. Y'all watch all my game plays, uh, sometimes I will, uh, sometimes I won't possession catch, but like I said, y'all can literally do whatever y'all want with this formation, like, like, look at this, I just possession catch, it's a not over and throwing pass, but y'all see how to play work, that's something else y'all can do, but like I said, the main thing you want to do with the, this play it's streak the tight end. That's all you want to do. And boom, you got him right there. Possession catch. Easy, easy money. It's easy money. That's, I mean, same thing with cover two. It's same thing with cover two. We go to DB fire two press. Same thing, same thing. Uh, that's the setup. All you want to do is streak the tight end. You got the drag, boom. And if not, boom. It's really torturous cover two. But just make sure, like I said, y'all possession catching the ball. But now we're going to talk about the PA shot seams. The PA shot seams. One of the one of the best plays in the game. So we're, we're going up against a cover four right now. This isn't really. I wouldn't re recommend running this against a cover four. But the setup basically with a PA shot seems you motion this guy over. This is the first setup I like to call the first setup. Pitch this guy on a drag. Pitch your running back on a hitch. So basically, what you're reading for, uh, what you're really reading for is uh, if they're in cover three, like if there's one deep safety when you hike the ball and there's only one deep safety in the middle of the field, you're like, okay, it's cover three. Then you got the one play bomb for the cover three touchdown. But if not, then you can throw it to your drag. There we go. Now we go to our so say they say they uh were in cover three. Like let's go to cover three. So I would do the same setup. I would drag my I would drag the the B guy or circle if you're on PlayStation, pit my running back on a hitch, and this is exactly how it looks, y'all. Like make sure y'all make sure y'all taking this taking notes. So boom, all right, I'm like, okay, there's one deep safety, boom. I got my one play touchdown. Launch that boy. As soon as that uh, corner bites down on that out route, you just want to launch that in any cover three type defense if y'all have enough time. If they're blitzing you and you don't think you have enough time, that's why we're pitting our drag routes in that uh, hitch on the field. Because say like the pass rush does get there. Say like, okay, they're coming. All right, all right. All right. I, think I, I don't think I'm going to have enough time. So boom, just dump it down. Take the easy five, 10 yards, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Take the easy eight to 10 yard gains and then really make sure y'all mix it inside zone in as well. Boom. So you gotta you gotta keep you gotta keep catching them off guard, y'all. And with the PA shot teams, y'all know how when we motion this guy over, when we run inside zone, when we motion this guy over, they're gonna think we're running the PA shot teams again. So they're gonna be like, okay, here it comes. As soon as he gets in the middle, just hit A and hike the ball. But you're, and then you can like when you run inside zone, you can do the same thing. You can motion that guy in. So you're gonna run inside zone and motion this guy over. As soon as he gets in the middle of the line, hit A, hike the ball, boom. You got easy blocking. You got an extra blocker. And we're doing this because we want every, we want everything to look the same, basically, guys. We want them to think everything looks the same. So even if you run a play like this, 
still motion this guy over because that that they're not gonna know what's coming. They're gonna be like, okay, is he about to run inside zone? PH out seems, you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna know. They're not, they're not gonna know what's coming. That's why it's called a scheme. You always gonna uh wanna make everything look the same. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the PH out scenes against cover two. All you really wanna do against cover two is uh if they're running cover two, all you wanna do literally is you can, all you gotta do is pitch your tight or your that guy on a slant. You can pitch your running back on an out route. Literally, here's all you got. Here's all you're really waiting for. Boom. That's that, that's what you're waiting for. That catch, that throw right there. Uh, and you and you want to make sure when you are doing this, make sure you are to the. If you're on a left hash, you want to run this play to the right side so you have enough room to catch the ball and get separation from that deep safety. So just motion this guy over and cover two. Pitch your running back on an out route, and you can streak or you can slant this guy. Y'all gonna see why I do this, cause you get so much space. Oh my god, if the pass rush doesn't get there. But basically, like I said, in cover two, all you wanna do is motion this guy over for, for PA shot seams. And make sure you're on the left side of the, if you, okay. Make sure you're running this play to the field side of the field. That means the, the biggest side of the field if you're in cover two. Because if they're in cover two, you want as much space so you can expose that safety over there. So now we motion him over. When we hike the ball, boom. As soon as he gets down that sideline, all you want to do is pass lead that to the outside. And that's why we want to do it to the field side of the field. You don't want to do it to the short side of the field. You want as much space to get separation from him as possible. You can block a runner back if you want and just put X on a slant. But like I said, you see how they're rushing three and getting a pass rush somehow, bro? Like I said, that's all you want to do really is pass lead it just like that. I just hate practice mode. They're getting a fluke pass rush. It's retarded. Like I said, pitch your running back on the out. Pitch this guy just like that. Boom. So boom, we wait till we get up the side. Boom. All you want to do is pass lead to the outside just like that. Easy one play touchdown. That's all you got to do in cover two. Also, with the PA shot teams, boom, the high pass. One of the best passes in the game. You can do it against cover three, cover four. The only thing you can't really do it against is cover two and two man under. Like I said, as soon as you hike the ball with the play action, hold LB and just throw it to your tight end. LB is what makes you throw the high pass. So that's all you want to do. Boom. So I stop it. I high pass it. Boom. Just like that. So I hold LB or L1 on PlayStation. Throw it to A. Boom. Cancel the play action. It's that easy. If y'all watch my gameplays, I use this play so much. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the spot corner or the Saints spot if you're in the Saints playbook. One of the easiest plays to run in the game. Oh my God, bro. This kills almost every coverage. The, the best route on this play is the C route by Y. It literally kills every coverage, you guys. Like, y'all see how, like, I don't know what it is about this coverage, y'all. Like, this C route, I guess because it's such in the middle of the field. Oh, my God. But y'all see, this C route in same spots, that's the main route on this play. So, all you want to do really is streak. You can either streak the guy on the right, motion him out, or you can pit him on a slant and uh, wait for the read to come in. But literally, what we're looking for, y'all see how Y gets open on this play? Like, y'all just see how, uh, like, this C-Route just gets so butt-naked open on this play for some reason. So, all you want to do, that C-Route is possess and catch it just like that. It beats cover two, cover four, cover three. The next thing you want to do is this, uh, flood concept to the right. You want to pit this guy on the streak. Then you got your flat route. Then you got your medium route. Basically, whichever route, unless they play cover three, Mabel, a flat and a purple to that side, you can make a read. So, if they cover the running back, you throw it to the corner route, basically. If they cover the corner route, you throw it to the running back. So they're right there, they're covering the corner right. We're just going to throw it to the running back. Boom, easy eight yards. Make sure y'all taking y'all yards. Or you can put this guy on a slant if you want to. Boom, and motion him out or drag. As soon as he gets out, just drag him. That's all you want to do. That You see me right there throwing Steve. I'm just trying to show you how to play. Like I said, it's an easy cover. Like, especially if they're playing cover three. Like, if, if they're playing cover three, Mabel, like, y'all, like, look at this C route, guys. Like, y'all see how, how much of a dot that is? Like, any coverage, I'm telling y'all, go try this out. It's that easy. Don't forget to mix in the inside zone and make everything look the same, guys. It's so simple, yo. This is one of the best money schemes, most, one of the most used money schemes ever used, like just used in Madden right now. Y'all like, watch me. I use this. Everyone uses this. Boom, high pass. It's so simple, coach. Oh my God. And then, like I said, then there's other plays in this formation, guys. There's other plays in this formation you can use. Like, I only went over the main money plays. Like, I only went over the... I only went over the the rounds by out, the PA shot teams, and the same spot. 
there's other money play like bench you can use uh if you like i said go lab these plays yourself go y'all as y'all use this scheme y'all gonna find other plays that work so i hope y'all enjoyed this smack a like let's try to get this video to a thousand likes for your boy hope y'all enjoyed this is highly requested video but until then it's your boy J Flow, aka mr let's get it let's go